Certain mixtures can be separated using the fact that substances making up the mixture have different densities. The density of a substance is its mass per unit volume. Here we have one cubic centimeter of gold and one cubic centimeter of aluminum. One cubic centimeter is how much space each cube takes up, or its volume. If these are both put on a scale, we see that the mass of the cubic centimeter of gold is 19.3 grams and the mass of the cubic centimeter of aluminum is 2.7 grams. So we can say that the density of gold is 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter. And the density of aluminum is only 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter. We can separate mixtures using density by two methods. One is gravity separation, and the other is using a centrifuge. First we'll look at gravity separation. Usually this involves the particles of a more dense substance being pulled down by gravity or settling out, while the other substance stays put. In order to find out what kind of mixtures can be separated using gravity, we'll review the mixtures we've learned about so far. There are three main types of mixtures, solutions, which are homogeneous or uniform throughout, colloids, which are heterogeneous, and suspensions, which are also heterogeneous. In a solution, the particles of the solute are very tiny, almost the same size as the particles of the solvent. Particles in the solution never settle out. So gravity separation cannot be used for solutions. You can leave a solution sitting for a very long time, and its solute will not settle out. In a colloid, the particles that are dispersed in the other substance are too small to sink or settle out. So gravity separation cannot be used for colloids either. For example, homogenized milk, which is a colloid, will not separate into cream and skim milk if left sitting. However, in a suspension, the particles are large enough to settle out. So gravity can be used to separate suspensions. Gravity separation occurs widely in nature. For example, the muddy water in this lake is a suspension of silt or clay particles in the water. Silt and clay particles are more dense than water. So over time, the silt and clay particles will gradually sink to the bottom. And they'll form new layers of silt or clay on the bottom of the lake. As the silt or clay settles out, the water becomes more clear. Industry also uses gravity separation. This is called a tailings pond. It is used to store waste materials from a mine. Ore is a material in a rock that contains valuable minerals. In a mining processing plant, the rock that contains the ore is ground up and the ore is extracted. The leftover rock, along with the water needed in the processing, is called tailings. Mines produce large quantities of tailings, and they must be stored. The tailings are pumped into a pipe and into a lake-sized pit called a tailings pond. The mixture of water and particles, called tailings, is allowed to settle. The particles slowly settle to the bottom, and the water that is left over is recycled back to the plant and reused for the extraction process. This whole process goes on continuously until the pond is full of tailings. Here is a very large tailings pond in Peru. Like this one, many tailings ponds use valley bottoms and have a dam to trap the tailings and the water. This tailings pond in Germany stores tailings of bauxite, an ore used to produce aluminum. Mount Pauli is a copper and gold mine located near Quenelle in the central interior region of BC. Here is an aerial photo of the mine site and tailings pond on July 24, 2014. The dam is shown here. On August 4, 2014, the dam broke and release millions of cubic meters of water and slurry into Pauli Lake and Quenell Lake. Tailings are known to contain toxic elements, so clearly a large amount of toxins have been released to the environment as a result of this spill. Gravity separation is not only used in mining, 
but it's also used to help purify our drinking water. Water with lots of suspended particles is said to be turbid. While water spends time in a reservoir, turbidity decreases because particles have a lot of time to settle out. Some water treatment plants have settling ponds where particles will settle out and leave the water more clear. We can also use a device called a centrifuge to separate mixtures using density. Here's a picture of a centrifuge. This central part spins at very high speeds when the switch is turned on. The holes in this part hold test tubes at an angle, so the bottom of the test tube is closer to the outside. Let's pretend we put two test tubes into this device. They contain a mixture of two types of particles. The larger blue particles have higher density, and the smaller orange particles have lower density. We'll fade out the particles and add these test tubes to opposite holes in the machine. We can imagine that they fit at an angle with the bottoms closer to the outside. We would only be able to see the tops. When we turn the switch on, it starts spinning. During the time it was spinning, the more dense blue particles have been pulled outward which brings them to the bottom of the test tube. In order to better understand how a centrifuge works, we can consider a cylinder that can rotate. As it rotates, centrifugal force seems to be pulling outward. Now we'll add a mixture to this cylinder. In this mixture, the blue particles have higher density and the orange particles have lower density. We'll add the mixture to the cylinder, and the particles spread out. When we rotate the cylinder, centrifugal force seems to pull outward. Forces that pull on particles always pull harder on particles that are more dense, just like gravity pulls harder on more dense objects. So as this rotates, the denser blue particles are pulled toward the outside. And because they need room, they push the less dense orange particles toward the inside. We can see that the mixture now has been separated so that the more dense material is near the outside of the cylinder, and the less dense material is on the inside. A salad spinner that you might find at home is actually a type of centrifuge. When a salad spinner spins, water is pulled outward the plastic mesh holds the lettuce in, so it separates the water from the lettuce. Another centrifuge in many homes is an automatic washer. During the spin cycle, the rotating drum acts as a centrifuge and water is pulled outward from the clothes. In this way, they already have lots of water removed before they go into the dryer.